Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about dollar bars. We know we all are familiar with time bars. What are time bars? Time bars are like what you see in Yahoo Finance, where you have every day you have the open, the high, the low, the close, and the volume. Um, and of course you can have during the day nine to nine thirty, you can have a bar with open, high, low, close volume. What is the issue with this? The issue with this is market opens at 930 Eastern. There's way more action at 930. So a bar from 930 to 931 is much different than a bar from 1 p.m. Eastern to 101 Eastern. And this matter is even worse if you um, use um, in, um, uh, uh, pre-market and after hours data where there's so little trading comparatively. So what what so what are dollar bars? Do, what are dollar bars? Dollar bars are basically an idea of how to uh, fix this a little bit by making the bars related to how much action there is, as opposed to uh, just time. So basically, x amount of dollars every x amount of dollars traded is a new bar. So let's say if you have uh, fifty million, you can say every fifty million dollars traded will have a new bar. And if you're using ML, this has much better statistical properties. So I have this data set as an example here. And this data set is tick data for Tesla on November 17th. And what's interesting here is, um, okay, so it has the time, the price, and the size. So we can make a, another column called dollar amount, or amount traded. So this is each trade, right? So as the time, price, and size for each trade, notice that these are all um, like right at the beginning of uh, pre-market, which opens at four Eastern. And note just because um, these are should be microseconds and stuff like that, but interactive unfortunately rounds to the nearest uh, second. Um, but nonetheless, it's every trade. So if I do a uh, dollar amount, it's price times. Uh, size okay so for this example we'll make every 50 million um uh every 50 million dollars traded it will be a new bar so the first thing we need to do is to uh, calculate the cumulative dollar amount but just to, to to make something clear in a second is um we want something like uh so bar one would be um zero to um uh, fifty thousand. Isn't uh, zero to first trade over fifty thousand, and bar two would be after bar one to first trade over one hundred. Sorry, one hundred billion. Okay. Why is this important? Because um, that way, like. If it, that way, like when you get a new bar, you get the most updated date. So the first thing we need to do is we need to um, to create these bars. We need to calculate the cumulative sum. So we can do cum dollar amount traded equals df dollar amount traded dot cum sum. Okay. So now um, we can create these bar IDs by doing df uh, bar ID. Um, equals, let, let, let's first see how the data frame looks. So I calculate this cumulative amount of dollars traded. So of course, a dollar amount traded is this times this, and the cumulative sum is just uh, this added together. So you see this is 695 here, and this is this plus this is 53 something. Um, okay, so now what do we want? We want um, bar IDs. So there is a way to do that. If we do integer divide, we can get um, um, we can get uh, bar bars. The issue with integer divide is it is we will get um, the last bar will be um, the one just under fifty million. So then we'll have to shift it by one. So maybe say since integer integer divide gives you. Um, um, and it, it gives you end points of just below um, n times uh, 50, 
million and we want just above, we will need to then shift. Okay, so now if you look at this, I can do bar ID equals DF uh, cum dollar amount traded. I call it a trader, uh, but you get the picture. Uh, the integer divide by uh, our, um, oh, we should, yeah, we should call the variable, um, no, let's, let's make good, good names, traded, a trader, traded, and let's, uh, we'll call this uh, dollar per amount per bar equals 50. This little uh, hyphen thing is, it allows you to make it look like commas, but it still work. Dollar amount per bar, and then we get this uh, bar ID. But as I said earlier, uh, oh, dollar amount traded. So what's missing? Oh, I didn't click enter. Okay, so now you get the bar IDs. But as I said earlier, the problem with this thing is that um, is that like uh, the, the, the each bar ends with the point right before it crosses 50 uh, million. So then like, let's say you have a new uh, uh, prediction, uh, you're using the previous value. So we really want to shift it now. So let's shift it now. D equals DF bar ID dot shift one. Okay, so now we have these bar IDs. Okay, so now we, act, we calculate the open, high, low, close as we're used to. So let's do df that group by bar id dot ag, and then let's do open equals um, price. First, the first price is the is the opening price. Uh, high equals price, max second price. Low equals price, min. Close equals price last. Uh, and volume equals size sum. So now you have open, high, low, close volume. Let's also add things related to the date. So we'll have like start, date, time, and date, time equals, equals uh, time first, time, last okay so how does this look we'll call it dollar bars equals like this oh what did i miss i missed the comma so it looks like this dollar bars and as you see like we have the bar ids and we have open high low close volume start date end date so as you see like pre-market four to four thirty seven thirty seven minutes makes a bar well during trading let's say uh oh this is still uh, oh sorry I guess the screen only shows uh, um, uh, pre and post market by luck. So let's just do something like uh, look uh, 10, uh, just to show you guys an idea. So remember, 37 minutes was the first bar. And the second bar is even more. The second bar is almost two hours. It's like 437 to 614. So now if I do this, I see, oh, this is before the market opens as a seven minute bar. The market opens now. It's a one second bar. <laughs> so that shows you like the, the huge difference between um, dollar bars and time bars. So like you can have two hour bars and one second bars, but the same amount of dollar amount of traded. Okay, so now let's just plot this um, and we'll use Plotly. Uh, let me see if I remember how to do this. Plotly, oh, oh I don't have Plotly here. Um, one second, let me actually uh, restart this kernel and uh, change kernels because I don't have Plotly here. What a mistake. Uh, Plotly dot, uh, let's go. I think this is how you do it. And you do a fig equals go dot figure. Um, uh, go dot candlestick. Uh, X equals, we'll use start, uh, we'll use uh, start, date time to label our dates and then you have open there's a candlestick chart in uh in plotly and that's what i'm trying to do 
wow, this is rerunning everything, or it might have already finished. Well, that was fast. Uh, nope, it didn't run anything. So let me run all cells. So open, high, low, close. So in the meantime, I'll run this open, high, low, close. And this will give you the candlestick chart. Um, uh, so, uh, so basically open would be DF dot open. Oh, oh, sorry, we call it dollar bars, right? Dollar bars open. Dollar bars. Let's just make our life faster. So, um, uh, this last thing would be dollar bars close. Uh, this would be low. Hi. And now let's see if this thing works. We can do fig that show. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't have Plotly. Hmm. Plotly. Oh, I messed up. What did I mess up? Um. Oh, open. <laughs> it's lowercase everything. I uh, I don't like the open lowercase because it confuses it with the magic operator. As you see, it, it gives you like a green thing. But oh, okay, great. So now you see what this means. So like the start of the first bar goes all the way up to here, to the end. The start of the second bar starts here, ends here. Third bar here, here. This is pre-market. Market opens at 9.30. So 9.30 is like... Uh, maybe around here. Market opens, crazy activity. Here is much more dense than even here. We'll zoom into it later. But here you see uh, market, after market, you don't have that many bars also. But like, as you see, like this is when the market first opens, 9.30. And, it, and as you see, 9.30 even has much more bunched up together than later in the day. So this is dollar bars. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.